that I want to talk to you today about how do you work in your business as well as in your personal life with your partner. Meaning that you have a partnership in business or in your personal life. Doing your inner work at the same time. Maybe you've done a course together with your spouse. Maybe you're about to do a course and you're freaking out. Maybe you're in the midst of change within your relationship. And how do you cope with this? What I'm here to tell you is that all relationship is about one thing. And that is ending childhood. Okay? So what that looks like is that when we get into relationship with somebody, they're the, they're the bee's knees and we love them to bits and they're, they're finishing off a part of our childhood. They're finishing off that parenting that we never got. Being that brother, that sister, that mother, that father. They're usually wrapped up. All of those patterns are wrapped up in one person. So then the power struggle stage shows up and we start having angst with the partner. And what that means is that you're just rubbing up against the end point of the patterning within yourself. And it has nothing to do with them. So the work always is an inside job. You have to find out for yourself at what point did you get wounded with your brother or sister or mother or father when they, when they said a particular thing. So we have to go into our unconscious and find out exactly where that happened Go and do our inner work by ourself. By ourself. So if you're in partnership and you're both doing the inner work, you have to have your own space, your own time, your own way. Now, women do things differently than men. Women are more communicative, we're more communal. Men like their caves. Men like to go inwardly, quietly, and not talk about it. So them doing their inner work may look like they're just watching telly and they're not talking to you. Or they're in their room on their computer. But believe me, in the background, things are going on. So when you're doing your inner work and you come to the table and you want to talk about it, they may not want to. They're not there yet. Now we have skills. I teach people skills on how to do positive communication so both are heard but it doesn't mean that they're going to be there to necessarily hold your hand through it you have to have your own support we're talking now about you becoming a queen and a king that kind of regal sovereign energy as you build your business as you build your life and the king and the queen each have their own attendants, their courtiers, their people that they get their advice from. So I know you want to go to your husband or your wife to get the reassurance and probably that's the last place you want to go. Go to your own grouping of people that love you and don't give up. Don't think it's about them. It's never about them. It's about you being triggered by who they are. And our work here on the planet is to come to a place of love, unconditional love. That's what we want. And it's really tough to give it when we're hurting or when we've been triggered into our pain. So I always say stop, go to another room, regroup. And it may be a few days that you do this, right? And you just let the other person know I'm going through something and I'm working it through and know it's okay. We're not splitting up. We can do this together, but it has to be a part. Just like Kabir says, you must be the willow tree and the oak tree. Neither creates the shade for the other. They have their own roots and they're very, very different kinds of trees, but they complement each other. So if you want to know more about the early childhood, the stages of childhood, you want to know more about your unconscious, you want to know more about how to work with your partner, in business or in life, book a call. Book a call and we're here to chat. 
Find out how you can work with me more intimately. And until then, keep the faith. <laughs>